So I've just finished listening to the developer update stream discussing season 2 for Diablo 4 and I have to say that despite the general positive consensus about the changes announced on Steam, I am very much concerned that these changes are too little too late and what's even worse they force players to farm the same boring content over and over again. My name is Liver and this is why I believe you'll be bored right after you reach Endgame in Diablo 4 Season 2. So while everyone was cheering and spamming W's in the stream chat for features like the new vampiric skill system, the increased item level cap, the gems not taking up inventory space and so on, I noticed something that may be very important and potentially detrimental to the health of the game. The season's big feature is the new endgame bosses and the fact that you can target farm uniques and even uber uniques by killing these bosses. More specifically, you have a very low chance to get an uber unique from Duriel, King of Maggots, one of the new bosses. Now, since uber unique items are the most powerful in the game, everyone and their grandmother will be farming Duriel. The problem with this, if you look at the graph that was presented during the livestream, in order to get the materials to summon Duriel, you'll need to kill two other bosses, Echoes of Vershan and Grigoire, the Galvanic Saint, or however he's called. And to summon those two bosses, you'll need to farm Tree of Whispers and Helltides. So, ultimately, to get the best loot in the game, you are basically getting forced into farming bounties from the Three of Whispers and Helltide for hours and hours. And here the question is obvious. Is that good for the game? Will it be fun to continuously farm these events that are basically unchanged in terms of gameplay since the release of the game? Personally, and I think many people agree with me, the Three of Whispers system is a glorified bounty system from Diablo 3 and it may be fun to do it a few times, I'd still rather farm nightmare dungeons than spamming and grinding these same types of bounties all the time to finally get enough materials to summon a boss. The same thing goes for Helltides. Are we okay with Helltides being the new endgame system? And here I say new in the most sarcastic way possible. For a few hours or days maybe, but not for the whole season. All in all, I believe that even with the introduction of bosses, Diablo 4 still lacks a meaningful endgame and players are going to realize this soon after reaching that point where they are forced to farm two boring, already existing game systems for a whole season. But what do you think? Is Season 2 going to save Diablo 4, or is the game going to die a second, even faster death soon after October the 17th? Let me know in the comments, and see you guys next time.